Voice News get on the Rural Radio Network, and today we are on the phone with U.S. Congressman Mike Flood. Congressman Flood, we appreciate the time today. You and fellow Republicans recently called on the Government Accountability Office to look into foreign investment of U.S. farmland. What can you tell us about that investment right now? Well, this request comes as China's ownership of U.S. farmland poses a growing threat to America's food and national security. Um, I also signed on to a letter last week urging the Department of Transportation, Department of Defense, and USDA to take action regarding potential natural security, national security risks um, that a certain group uh, from China poses on the U.S. after they recently purchased land in North Dakota uh, near a major military air base. Uh, the, the group's name is called the Fufeng Group. It's F-U-F-E-N-G, if you want to look that up. Uh, they made a major purchase up there uh, near Minot uh, in in North Dakota, and that is what really got members of Congress like myself to start looking at it. You know, and I think it's important that Nebraskans know foreign ownership and investment in U.S. ag land has nearly doubled in the past decade. Uh, foreign individuals and entities held an interest in 37.6 million acres of U.S. ag land as of the end of 2020. That's 1.7% of all land in the U.S., and I have a reason to believe that number's actually low. So we need to be on the lookout. First of all, if, if somebody in your uh, neck of the woods, you know, sells to uh, somebody that seems fishy, uh, you know, chances are it could be uh, foreign investment, uh, which we have foreign investment now from countries like Canada and the United Kingdom and elsewhere. China is particularly concerning. Congressman, uh, just as you're addressing there, it sounds like in this letter as I look at it, you're you're looking at uh, the disclosure of it and making sure it's properly reported. I, I'm guessing the listener out there today uh, wants me to ask you, so I'll do so here. Why can't Congress just all out ban that? What's the, what's the issue with doing that? Well, I think any. I mean, I've been in a legislature for ten years, and um, the first thing that Congress has to do is provide oversight over what's currently happening. Um, we have to, we have to decide, you know, what are the issues on both sides? We already have a number of foreign governments that we are allies with that have been landowners in the United States for a long time, just as our government owns real estate in their countries. And we're talking about countries like Canada and uh, the United Kingdom. Um, I will tell you, given this latest purchase by the Chinese Communist Party up in North Dakota, that's probably on the horizon for a lot of members of Congress if, in fact, our concerns are valid. And that's essentially what we're asking the USA, USDA to tell us. What are our options? What are the actual threats to our system? Where are we at with the land that they own? Where is it that they own it? Are they systematically buying land up by military bases. As soon as we get answers to these questions, I think we can craft legislation that really targets the problem. Our problem is not the Canadians. Our problem is not, you know, our friendly longtime allies, the British. You know, our problem is this foreign investment, specifically by the CCP in land in rural areas. So um, I think we're on the way to (laughs) acting in a way that would address that. But it's a delicate issue because we've got a lot of other foreign governments that we have uh, good relations with that we don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Yep, no doubt. That is Congressman Mike Flood joining us here on the phone. I'm Bryce Dusky reporting on the Rural Radio Network.